What's up, Soul Family? As y'all can tell by the title, we about to get into some occult wisdom, and that is that once you understand that this 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 realm, this amalgamation of light projected through geometry, through sacred geometry, through geometry that's in tune with the code of life. Once you understand that, once you understand that this is a projection of the mind of God, so to speak, all this mind, the universe is mental. Once you understand that, you you begin to understand the occult, the occult wisdom of the fact that darkness is light and light is darkness. Everything in this realm is backwards. Or it's like a mirror reflection. You know when you look in a mirror, let's say you have letters on your shirt and you look in a mirror and it's backwards. It's, it's the same information, so to speak. It's just reversed, so it carries a different tone. It carries a different meaning. Not meaning, but you know what I'm saying? It's much harder to read. It's much harder to understand what's being read backwards than it is forwards. That's why you got to meditate to get more towards the dark side, the inner realm, the yin realm. The demonization of the feminine energy is humanity's demonization of their own soul, of their own inner self. Inner child, whatever. Holy Spirit, whatever you want to call it, inner high, uh, one of my favorite terms for the inner life force, the inner realm, the inner realm governed by the inner life force, your soul, is the inner high priestess or intuition. So this, this demonization is basically a way of demonizing what's unknown. But if you understand that as chaos beings, I'm, this is actually is an advanced video, okay? So I'm not gonna be breaking down everything like I usually do. Those who get it, get it, and those who don't, don't. I'm not, I usually make videos to try to get people to understand, but I'm not even gonna dabble in that. This for my real souls, these for my, this, this video is for my, for the Titans. This video is for the Titans. All right, so as chaos beings of darkness, we have to understand that our true nature is not of this world. That's why Jesus said, you have to be in this world, but not of this world. That's why he says that my kingdom is not of this world. <laughs> he says this. I believe when he was getting prosecuted, when he was getting questioned, uh, they asked him like, they asked him like, basically, what what kingdom did he belong of? And he said, it's a kingdom that, you know what I'm saying? It's a kingdom of God that have, everyone has access to type shit. He said it like, not out overtly, but covertly. And he shut everyone up in the, in the crowd. This is because this this realm, this kingdom that he's talking about is the kingdom of darkness within you, your own inner darkness, your own inner world. You can't see within yourself. It's like in the mind. OK, let's let's cor law law of correspondence. Let's correlate. Let's correlate the above with the below. Here's a quick thought experiment for you guys to exercise. You can't look at your face without a mirror <laughs> you can't you can't look into yourself like you can't your eyeballs can't protrude and and boom and you know what i'm saying you see your face you've never actually seen your face you've only seen a reflection of your face a reversed reflection of your face actually if you're looking through a mirror um and this is why the bible says if you were to lay, if you were to lay your eyes on the face of a God, you surely shall die because you can't look, you can't make a full 180 on yourself. That's like turning in into yourself 
in like zoop, <laughs> you zap out of existence. <laughs> like imagine, uh, uh, imagine like a dot, <laughs> and it this dot in the middle of empty space wants to look inwards on in on itself and look at itself. It would turn in on itself and it would basically evaporate. Um, it would basically subtract from itself and zoop, and stop existing. So you can't lay eyes on your true nature. That's why you have to go to the dark side because you, your true being goes beyond all of this. All of this creation, all of this form, all of these ideas, these, these thoughts, your true nature is beyond all of it. That's why they say in the Bible, you are the alpha and the omega. You, you, you before and you after. They even say in the Bible, even they say, uh, earth and heaven shall pass away, but my words shall last forever or, or are everlasting. That's because he's speaking truth. I think it was Jesus. He was speaking truth of his true nature as God, as something that's beyond any conceivable thing. That's why it's chaos. That's why we are chaos dark beings. Because paradoxically, not only are we constantly evolving, our, our true nature is connected in with the eternal darkness that is our own soul. But when you don't understand this, you hear chaos beings of darkness and you go, oh shit. <laughs> because that's the indoctrination of the light. Um, I had a dream. I had a prof uh, I had a prophecy delivered to me through the through my dreams where I, I saw I saw Jesus and the devil and they were like about 20 feet away from me you know what i'm saying it was like we was like in a big if you ever seen uh if you've ever seen squid game the the uh if you ever seen squid game the red light green light game it was like a room like that it was like a big box and it was jesus across from me and the devil and they had they like, I don't know what happened. Like they kind of, what they was talking about, but they like merged. They like fell into each other. <laughs> they fell into each other. And when they did, they morphed. And when they morphed together, like this is a huge ass room, by the way. When they morphed together, it formed an I. It, it formed like an I. Like when you say I am, I, like the letter I. It formed an I. Where the, the, the eye was black, but around it was a, a, a massive, magnificent aura of gold. It was like a shining letter eye. But the actual eye was completely black. It was completely dark. And you could only imagine what I was thinking when I, when I saw this. It was fucking huge. <laughs> it was boom. And... My interpretation of this dream is that we are the light of the darkness. To find your light, you have to go to the dark side. If you go to the dark side, if you go to the light side, you're going to find your dark side, your devilish side, your, your side of ignorance. The devil is another way of saying ignorance of your true nature. When you're ignorant of your true nature and you, you, and you, when you, subscribe and you believe and you have emotional investment in this world of limitations and you believe it this is it this is all that you ever be and you let it limit you in certain ways you are under the influence of the devil of ignorance devil equals ignorance of your true nature which is beyond all creation you are a chaos being a primordial chaos being you aren't just the old soul. You're the oldest soul. I like to tell people that. I'm not an old soul. I'm the oldest soul. I am the alpha and the omega. I am the grand architect of the universe. And I'm not saying that from the perspective of me, Elijah Willis. <laughs> this too shall pass away.
but who I am shall never pass away. And once you understand that, you officially recognize your nature as a being of the dark side. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's the video. Um, the darkness is the light, and the light is the darkness. So, that's the video.